We're here today shooting some lifestyle shots of Scratch along with the pickup model for the Bell Custom 500 packaging. Yeah. <laughs> One more time. One more time. <laughs> I started uh, working on cars when I was like 15 or 16. A guy named Frank Palmer basically showed me how to sh load my brush and how, uh, how not to cut my brush and how, wh what thinners to not use and stuff like that. But he never really directly told me what to do. That's probably why my pinstriping is so different from everyone else's because I wasn't uh, learning from somebody and then taking their style and making it my own. I was making my own style my own. I moved to California 10 years ago in a, a 59 Pontiac and it was flat black with purple and purple faded rims and uh, the roof was all metal flake with a big panel on it. It was, you know, it was a totally different car for what was going on at this time. I just think that is probably the best part or the best uh, era in hot riding. That's when the cars were the fastest and the rawest and, and it was just on the very edge. It was before muscle cars were popular. You know, it's before you can buy a factory car that style. The the shape of whatever I'm using is is what I'm gonna accent. If it's just a plain helmet, I'll put a lot of striping on it. But if it's a, a helmet with a lot of lace and patterns on it, I'll just kinda outline everything and just maybe do one like teardrop on there, like tongue degree style teardrop. You want it to be complimentary. You're you're doing all this stuff to make it look better, not worse. 